Hi, Planner friends. It's Nia from Life with Nia. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am sharing with you the unboxing of my cloth and paper agenda. I have been waiting for a few months and it is finally here and I am so excited to share it with you all. So without further ado, So we've got some info here. Got my receipt and cute journaling card with a thank you on the back and then a card that says, um, read me. Uh, leather is a natural product from animal hides and therefore differs from hide to hide. Variations in the texture of leather should not be considered a fault, but inherent of the natural beauty and uniqueness of the leather. And then we have leather care, so um, enjoy your cloth and paper planner for years to come by keeping it clean with a damp cloth or alcohol-free wipe. We always recommend using the push tabs on the end of your rings to open and close them. Pulling the rings open using the rings themselves can affect the tension and alignment and can eventually cause gaps. I did not get a ring bound planner and um, I didn't realize, Petey says hi, I didn't realize that it was um, real leather. I thought it was vegan leather. So I learned something new today. So we have here very lovely package item. So we've got a beautiful, beautiful white dust bag. And it says cloth and paper on the outside. And here it is. The contoured leather folio. So it looks exactly the same on the front and back. Well, probably not exactly the same because it's got a pattern here, but um, it's the same as far as pattern. And I'll try to give you a little closer look of what the contouring looks like. So inside on the Left side, we have one big deep pocket here so you can slide your planner in there if you choose to slide it in on the left side. And then you've got another pocket here, one deep pocket here, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, um, like credit card type slot pockets. And it's just a very nice texture. I would even love a planner that was textured like this on the outside. This is really nice as well. On the right side, we've got another pocket for you to slide your planner into. In gold, um, the words cloth and paper are embossed. And then we have a pin loop here at the top. So I have my other new favorite, um, which this texture of this caramel um, Notique planner is the same texture as this on the inside. So um, if you're familiar with the Notique, that is the same texture. Okay, so we're going to slide this in here. There is plenty of room. Now I will say um, my pin loop does hit up against it. I could just slide it in not as far um, or I can when I have my pin and have it out like this and it would not be an issue. 
So, um, and I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if that was actually on camera, but there's the pin loop. And so, um, but it is not a problem. So let's see, do I have a pin handy? Let's test out a pin in here. So there's a pin in there. Plenty of room. Okay, and when we go to close it, um, this is, I've got tons of space. It's hard to see because they're black discs, but um, tons of space left in here um, and room. The one thing I for this planner why I was kind of on the fence about it was because it does not have a closure. Um, so there's good and bad with that. The good is like I can totally stuff it with stuff and not have to worry about it not being able to clasp to close. The bad is that I worry about things possibly falling out or being lost because there's no closure. Um, so I, you know, have it one of each. I actually have a third one um, that I'm still on the fence about whether or not I want to keep. But for the cloth and paper, um, I just could not pass up this beautiful, beautiful contoured leather. And so I love the way that this looks. It just looks very professional and, um, I don't know, just like work, you know, business. Um, and so when you open it up, I think that um, over time, this will lay flat, but it is brand new and it was, you know, just out the package. So it's not going to lay flat immediately, but over time it will lay flat. I can see that, you know, I'll be able to um, write in here and um, it will not be an issue. So I'm looking forward to putting some journaling cards and things there um, on the side. And now I'm torn with like, which one do I want to use? But this is absolutely beautiful. Um, should these come back into the shop, I would highly, highly recommend grabbing this um, contoured leather. It has a, it feels like there's like something inside to make it kind of hard, but then it's, uh, for lack of a better term, squishy on the top. Um, but it's harder on this side. So it's um, got a little give to it. And... Y'all, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is my little bow down there. I love this. I love this. So now my dilemma is which one do I use because they're both so beautiful. Um, so this is my cloth and paper unboxing of my new agenda. Let me know what you think. I hope you are um, in the market for an agenda yourself and that you got some great information from this video. If I can answer any questions for you about the agenda, please put them down in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, it's definitely a beautiful agenda. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.